Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. Welcome if you're new, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. We're gonna be looking at the energies between you and the person that you are thinking about at this time. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not resonate for every Gemini, and not every Gemini reading will resonate for you. Let's jump right in. Spirit, angels, guides, messages please for Gemini. What can you tell us about the energies between Gemini and the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time? Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Cups main energies. On your side, Gemini, we have Judgment and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. On their side, we have Justice, Libra Energy, and the Sun. We'll put down here the three cards for what can you expect next. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands. So action, movement, communication. Um, this is interesting to me because you have Judgment and they have Justice. So I feel like there's something serious that's being um, addressed because judgment is all about addressing the past, kind of learning from the past, second chances, awakenings, realizations. And justice is like being objective and fair when you make a decision or um, a, a decision that you receive or an outcome that you receive is very objective, fair. So you're both kind of like looking at something. They have the sun and you have the queen of wands. And in the middle of your energies here is the Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. I'm going to have to clarify all of these because the Ten of Pentacles is long-term commitments, tradition, long-term success and stability. Three of Cups is coming together, reunions, parties. So these two you can think of as like a wedding or... Um, a proposal of some sort or just having fun with friends um, or third-party energies so it could go really any way either way depending on how we clarify so let's get some energies out here tell me more about the energies for Gemini and this particular person you could also be dealing with a Libra or a fire sign it does not have to be those are just the energies that happen to show up so far but I like to point them out. What do we need to know, Spirit, about the energies between Gemini and this other person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Gemini? This is from my Stellar Energy deck. If you're curious, see, sudden realization came out. So this is important. This judgment energy is important because someone is receiving clarity or um, you are realizing something, Gemini. Now I have you on the left here. And your person on the right but feel free to flip the energies because the energies can be fluid so they can be vice versa okay tell me more about the energies between gemini this other person new beginnings hmm. someone is waking up to a new idea a new start or whatever they're realizing this could be you gemini is leading to some sort of new beginning and there's wedding bells at the bottom of the deck Okay, I'm not going to jump to conclusions here. I'm not going I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just clarify <laughs> and see what else I get. See what spirit says. Can I get one more energy please, spirit? For Gemini, please. What else do we need to know about the energies between Gemini and this person? Great fortune. Gemini, this looks great. There's something happening for you. And this has been a long time coming. And not only that, but so many readings that I've done for you recently, there's this energy of, you know, this new start, new lucky break, new opportunity that is like looming in the distance. <laughs> like you're headed towards it. And I think this is happening astrologically as well now i'm not an astrologer but i do love to watch 
um, other astrologers on YouTube and I'm a Gemini sun and a gemini venus so i'm always reading you know i mean not reading but watching uh videos for our sign anyways a lot of good things are happening and um it's gonna be starting uh mid-year so now <laughs> so let's see let's get some clarity here for for gemini some clarity please for, for gemini in love can i get some clarity please for Gemini. Let's start with this Eight of Wands because this is all about movement, action, things happening quickly, communication. So I want to know what this is. Spirit, why is the Eight of Wands here? Is Eight of Wands about? No. That does not feel right. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Hermit, Virgo energy, I swear, there's always, this card has been coming up so often in Gemini readings. You could be dealing with a Virgo, but again, there's this um, theme here of seeking something, seeking enlightenment, seeking clarity, searching for answers, and receiving some sort of knowledge, right? Similar to judgment. Because the Hermit, they withdraw, listen to their inner voice, and they're like seeking for answers and because they are willing to listen they're able to get enlightenment i feel like this is something that's coming in for you here tell me about the eight of wands sorry why is the eight of wands here there's judgment yeah you're receiving some sort of realization some sort of clarity truth epiphany here gemini I think it's in the form of some sort of communication. This could also be somebody like contacting you or having conversations that lead to this realization. Two of Swords. Okay, I want one more. Can I get one more, please, for this Eight of Wands? Yeah, I feel like you're able, you're gonna be able to see something here. Maybe you weren't able to receive this or see this. Maybe you were stuck. Maybe you weren't open to this, but now it's like you're waking up to this. Four of Wands. And the bottom of the deck is the Lovers. Gemini energy. The Lovers with the Four of Wands. This is soulmate energy, stability, happy home, domestic bliss. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Ah, okay. The High Priestess, wow, and the Seven of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. What's at the bottom of the deck? Just curious. The Five of Swords, my goodness. I feel like someone was preventing this or um, maybe you were in the dark about something with the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess. The Five of Swords is about conflicts, failures. And it's like you're getting an opportunity here. I feel like you had to kiss a lot of frogs to get here. <laughs> like not, not all of them were good. Not every experience was worth it. But it led to this. Let's see, what, what, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very stable individual. They tend to be married, um, for me as a reader. They're natural providers, steady, dependable. Good parents, etc., etc. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Very successful. The Tower, holy crap, what is happening here? What is happening here? You get one more for the Ten of Pentacles. The plot thickens, Gemini. The chariot, Cancer energy at the bottom of the deck with the Ten of Wands. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at this all over again because now it's like, what is the story we're getting? <laughs> it's just so out there. 
I, I still get this feeling that you've been in the dark about something like you weren't able to see something until now or you weren't able to realize something until now Gemini that's why judgment is here that's why it's so important and this is coming in or starting to come in and it deals with a specific person there's an opportunity here there's the ten of Pentacles four of wands stability king of Pentacles great partner to have but then that we have the tower we have the ten of wands the seven of swords so I feel like in it, this might be something that's happening outside of you Gemini Maybe the person you're dealing with is dealing with these other issues, this tower moment, unless you've experienced a tower moment recently. But I feel like this King of Pentacles has been dealing with a tower. Could be, have been happening at home with family or something like that. So let's jump into your energies here to get some insight into what's going on. Because I feel like we're going to have to peel this back layer by layer. Tell me about Gemini's energy. What do we need to know about Gemini's energy? What do we need to know about Gemini's energy? What do we need to know, Spirit, about Gemini's energy? Wow, the beaver. Very loyal, family-oriented, steady as well. The beaver provides for their family, works hard for their family, very you know stays busy works hard i feel like you are ready for something real you're ready to put in real effort into something the beaver is willing to work hard okay let's clarify this judgment card over here tell me about judgment why is judgment here spirit for Gemini the five of swords maybe you're realizing something about someone that mistreated you or something that didn't work out or a specific conflict but maybe it taught you a lesson with judgment tell me about judgment the three of wands I'm wondering also if this is someone from your past coming back in Can I get one more for judgment? Oh my God, the two of cups is here. What is happening? Queen of wands, three of pentacles. This is, again, the plot thickens here. Like there's more to this than I know as a reader right now. You're all dealing with something pretty complex <laughs> i'm starting to think here it has to do with a connection two of cups a very special connection you know i'm getting so i'm getting um certain messages queen of wands is here twice hmm let me clarify this queen of wands before you know i don't want i feel like this whole reading i've been kind of trying to figure out what's going on but i feel like this is one of those readings where you have to clarify everything to get the whole story tell me about this queen of wands queen of wands very bold attractive charismatic what she wants she gets tell me about the queen of wands ten of swords you see there's like something here Some sort of difficulty that you've experienced. I'm, I'm reading for a Gemini where there's some sort of difficulty or an end of a cycle here. There's the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Yeah. And the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Something's coming in with this Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands. This is very important. I think it's some sort of communication with judgment. This could be a communication that you're receiving from a particular person or... It could be communication from like spirit because we have the wheel of fortune here and the great fortune card is like the wheel of fortune card of that deck tell me about the uh, knight of swords why is the knight of swords here ah 
the Knight of Cups. So yeah, you're getting some sort of message. It could be an apology or it could be someone expressing that they care about you, that they're interested in you. There's the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. But I feel like I'm missing something still. Okay, let's move on to your person and see if I can get some insight there. Tell me about Gemini's person. What are their energies? Tell me about Gemini's person. What are their energies, Spirit? What do we need to know about this individual? I really screwed up. Okay. I see you in my dreams. So is this someone that's thinking about you? They're invested. That's what I heard. Invested. Okay. I'm really invested. I mean, I don't even know what's going on here. I'm about to figure it out and I'm invested. Why is justice here? Justice with the sun. This is like the best outcome you could possibly have. Tell me about justice. This could be a legal situation. Page of Pentacles. Tell me about justice. Nine of Wands. Yeah, so this... This, your person also has had some sort of difficulty, but I feel like they're finally getting their chance here with Page of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Maybe they fought for this. Maybe they've been through a difficult situation and now they're out of it and ready to like have this sun energy. Tell me about the sun. Tell me about the sun. Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're going after something. Tell me about the sun. Maybe they're going after what makes them truly happy here. Six of Pentacles. Something more stable, more balanced. Tell me about the sun. The devil and the fool. Oh yeah, this person has broken free. The six of cups is at the bottom of the deck. This person, Capricorn energy with the devil. I don't know if you can see that very clearly. I don't think my camera will focus. But this is literally someone breaking free of... I mean, I know it sounds cheesy, but like the chains of bondage. <laughs> Breaking free of some sort of restriction, breaking free of some sort of addiction, something that was holding them back. So I'm speaking to a Gemini. Your person's clearly gone through something that they've had to like fight tooth and nail to have. Four of Cups, Six of Cups, Strength, Leo Energy. Yeah, it's like they had to be strong dealing with whatever it is that they were dealing with. They aren't happy or satisfied. I feel like your person, like justice, is allowing them to have some sort of opportunity here with the Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. The lovers. Yeah, you. You are this person's opportunity. Hmm. So where is all of this headed? Because now this is starting to make a little bit of sense because I feel like you probably are aware of this. This Five of Swords, this Three of Wands, maybe you've been waiting for the difficulty to pass. Maybe you're just waiting for that phone call or that, hey, you know, that message about having a second chance. Hey, I want to have a second chance with you. It's like you've been waiting to hear this. Maybe you're aware of this tower that has been difficult for this King of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords, you know? It's like you're, you know there's something up behind the scenes. It's like you're kind of aware of it, but you're not directly involved. You just know that there's an opportunity at the end of the day, but I feel like you're scared that it won't happen or anxious that it won't happen here for you. Five of Cups in the near future here. Four of Cups and then the Knight of Swords. So yeah, there's definitely a message coming in. I think this message has something to do with someone's past. Either this person that's going to be sending you this message is going to talk about their past or your past together. However, Gemini, this Four of Cups, I wonder if this is you, like, not sure about what you're hearing. You know, like, maybe you don't feel like this is for you or maybe you're not very open to this opportunity. We'll have to see in the extended but there's definitely a message coming in. And this could be happening like suddenly. Because I have sudden realization. Judgment showed up twice. Knight of Swords is very quick. Knight of Swords is like shooting that text, right? And this Knight of Swords that I clarified for you comes with the Knight of Cups. So this could be some sort of an apology or someone expressing their interest in you. You know? 
because I feel like there's a soulmate situation happening here. And it's been like, you know, I'm speaking to a Gemini where you and this person have not had a smooth history. I feel like you might have even had some sort of separation because new beginning is here. So it's almost like you get to have another chance, right? Or you get to have a new beginning with this person, a new start, um, other than the one that you have now, obviously. So I'm going to take this to the extended. Um, I don't know what this wedding bells is, though. Sorry, I like looked it over. I don't know if you've been dealing with someone that's married or if this Ace of Pentacles is like and Page of Pentacles is someone making you some sort of a proposal. Um, I don't really see that in the near future energy. I mean, this is this Knight of Swords, I feel, is very important. And it comes with a Knight of Cups. So there's emotions here, not like an offer. Offer, You know what I mean? And it could be because this person has just had their justice. Like they just finally were able to break free. And I think it's due to this tower. So I'm going to take this to the extended and we're going to clarify this outcome here in the near future. What does this Knight of Swords mean? And then we're also going to look a little bit deeper at your person. Um, what do we need to know about their intentions here towards you? Um, because I, ha I feel like that's very important because they clearly have something in mind. You know, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, the Fool, you know, the Lovers. They're thinking about you. So I want to know a little bit more about that. So if you'd like to know more, check out the extended. It's going to be linked in the description box. Otherwise, Gemini, I'll leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support and your kind comments. It does not go unnoticed. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.